to Modeling Misadventures. Today we're going to carry on with the Routemaster bus. Now in the last video we built this front suspension arm and today in stages 7, 8, 9 and 10 we're going to add on the disc brakes and the two front wheels. So then it should really start to take shape. So let's have a look at the parts and uh, see how we're going to make it. Now we've just got some duplicate sections today. We've got two front brake discs and the part needed to make those. And we've got two front wheels and tires. So basically you do two stages and then you repeat it for the remaining two. Now you may have noticed that every set of parts comes with this little label here. And it says that this is a TFL official licensed product and that stands for Transport for London. And that means that the London Transport um, Company has actually endorsed this model as a very good replica. So these are the parts for one of the disc brakes. You can see the disc there, there look to be some calipers here. There's a few little screws and this is just simply repeated on the other side. Now the instructions tell you to make the disc brake first and then put a tire and wheel on. But I'm actually going to make both of the disc brakes first and then I'm going to make both of the wheels and tires at the same time. So I'll get the disc brakes made and we'll see what they look like. Well these are the brakes done. Uh, took about an hour to put those together and they look really nice. Uh, you can see this is how the steering is going to work. So the wheels are going to go on there. Really nice details again. Look at that, you can see the calipers and the spring. nice isn't it look at that this will be what the steering arm goes into I think so I'm going to do a little bit of weathering on the inside of those brakes but that's looking really nice so the final stage of this first pack is to fit the tire and wheel again the instructions are very simple and uh, then that will be attached to the axle. Here are the parts. Very nice looking tire, beautiful looking wheel. And then a few little bits just to fasten it on. Now they recommend two methods for softening this rubber to get it to go onto the wheel. One is to immerse it in hot water and the other is to heat it with a hairdryer. Now I've seen this hot water trick before, but I'm not over keen on it because I think you'll end up with water in here that you can't get out. So I think I'm gonna go the hairdryer route. All right, let's see if this goes on. No problem, dead easy. Look at that. So that's these stages finished. And that looks amazing, doesn't it? That's the front suspension and front wheels all done. And they look absolutely brilliant. I'm really pleased. Done a bit of weathering on the brakes. Uh, you won't see much of this when it's on the model, but still just wanted it to make it look a bit dirty. But I'm really happy with that. And if you look at the detail there, I'm just going to show you a picture of what it looks like on the real one. So you get an idea of how accurate this is. So have a look at that. And then have a look at this. Pretty amazing, isn't it? So that's it for pack one. I haven't got any more parts to make. Now I've got to wait for pack two to arrive. But I'm really looking forward to it because this model is looking absolutely amazing. 
So I'm going to leave it there. Um, before I finish, I'll show you a few pictures just to recap where we're up to so far. But with that, I'll say goodbye and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.